if there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he give you a sad or a wonder, and the sad or the wonder come to pass, of which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dream of dreams. For Yahoo is testing you to know whether you love Yahoo with all your heart and with all your soul. Some churches are like that. They give you a sign and a wonder. In other words, some good sermons, write some good books, and then have you fallen after strange deities like Zeus, which is I, Zeus, Jesus, the image that all the mother of Horlock's churches are following after. All their prophets see the same image of Jesus. All the prophets, these new prophets, these new religions of these churches that's preaching the gospel that nobody else preached, have a message that nobody else has. They all see the same Jesus image and claim the same Jesus they spent many nights with in conversation with had visions of the same image that they want you to follow and then they have books books all over the world with this image in this book in these books saying that this Jesus is the son God, the Almighty, who died for your sins, and you're reading these books to your children and your grandchildren and other people of other nations who have not known the truth that you're not supposed to make an image of anything and bow down to it. Yes, you're bowing down to the image when you confess with your mouth and you have a child to believe with his heart that this is the one who died for your sins and for his sins or her sins. That's bowing down. You're confessing with your mouth. And then the proof of it is your books spread it all over the world with this image of Jesus. In you. And you cannot separate the name from the image because we all know at one time or another you were like we were like a, a, a empty hard drive with no program on it, no operating system on it. And then one day you seen a picture of Jesus and somebody told you that this is Jesus, the Son of God, the Almighty who died for your sins. That image was forever engraved in your mind. Like when you first put an operating system on a hard drive. It's programmed. You have been programmed with this image. That's why the Almighty is saying in Deuteronomy 4.15 that you see no image of Him. And He don't want you to see an image of Him because He's afraid that you wouldn't make an image. Even if you could make an image of the Almighty, He does not want you to have an image in your mind, which is his temple. Yes, brothers and sisters, there are churches that have come to you with some truth, a sign or a wonder. Oh, this is the Sabbath, and you've been keeping Sunday, and the day is the seventh day. That's the truth. But then they add something else to it. But this is Jesus who died for you. This is Jesus. Your Savior. Take this book. Give it to your children. Read this book. This is Steps to Christ. 
Yes, and this is Christ right here, see? Isn't he lovely? With his long flowing hair, which is against the law, and his cut beard, which is against the law. They have given you an image of a lawbreaker for Christ. Oh, the writing is good. The words are good. But who is it leading you to? He said, do not follow after these strange gods who you have not known. We have not known this image. Nowhere in scripture is there anyone like this image that they want you to follow after and that they want you to teach your children to follow after. And when your children grow up, they're going to give their children the same image, the same books with that good writing and that good teaching in it. But it's going to lead them to a worship of a strange deity, a strange God, as you say. Oh, brothers and sisters, there is no getting out of idolatry. That's why the scriptures say you will be cursed to the third and fourth generation of those who hate him having these images, making these images. Just look at the campus of some of the churches. They got images and statues of Jesus. And when they transliterate the name Jesus, it transliterate back to its original I.E. Zeus you hear what the Oakwood General Conference president is preaching he is saying Zeus he's not saying Savior because Savior's name have save in it Yahoo Shua Shua means save. He shall save his people. Brothers and sisters, examine yourself to see if you are in the faith. I believe the Lord might Amen. Know that Jesus is coming soon. We say it in every language. Jesus revient bientôt. Jesus viene, viene pronto. Breve Jesus voltera. Jesus prediot scora. Jesus anacuja cari buni sana. Jesus nimi colt o chimnida. Jesus jailai. Jesus geldi aiga. Si Jesus ai malapit nang dumiting. Ha ana ati serian. Jesus kommt bald. And in so many other languages. Heard it for yourself. Brother Wilson, preaching Zeus to the world. SDA General Conference President. And when you think about all these other pastors from the United States and other places that are going all over the world preaching Jesus when they transliterate back down to Isus. Yes, they substituted the name of the Almighty for Isus. Some of the brothers that had it wrong, it's not Jesus, it's Isus. It's the translating of the Bible supposed to be correct and name supposed to be transliterated, but they changed the name of Yahoo to I Zeus. They took the Zeus part and put it in place of the salvation part of our Savior's name, which is supposed to be and healed Yahoo Shua. Thank you.